First thing I want to say today is sorry. And I'm sorry, and I mean this, for asking people to vote for reform in the last election. I didn't push it that hard, but again, I, I, I didn't see another option. But in hindsight, it was a massive mistake to support reform. And I've titled this video, Nigel Farage, you are to blame for this mess. What do I mean by that? That's a, that's a very bold statement to make. Farage was the most popular centre-right politician in the UK just a few months ago. But I think the reality is either, either Nigel completely misjudged things or he wanted to see a Labour government. Because when, when he was being interviewed before the election, he would, he, would, he would bat it off when someone said, well, you're going to let a, an extremely left-wing Labour government in. He would bat it off and say, well, there's no difference between them and the Tories. Really? Really, Nigel? I'll be honest with you, I would much rather have Dishy Rishi than the Starminator. The Starminator is going to do his best to crush all opposition to his crazy Trotskyist communist policies. And Nigel, this is on you and it is on you because you split the Tory vote so much without any planning, without any strategy, without any voter planning, without any tactical voting, without seeing which constituencies you could possibly win and putting all your resources into those and not into others. Five seats for all those millions of votes. And, and then when it comes on top, when it, when it comes on top because you're feeling a bit of heat because people are blaming you for the riots, which is nonsense, of course. They were spontaneous explosion of rage, which is wrong. This violence has put our movement back massively. It's given the Starminator the excuses he wanted to clamp down on our people. And I've got friends that have been arrested. I've got friends that are being persecuted, that their lives have been threatened. Some of them have left the country. But Nigel, this is on you because you facilitated the Labour government. What could possibly go wrong? And I'm so annoyed that, I mean, what's the definition of insanity? Doing the same thing over and over again and, and expecting a different result. Well, Nigel, we all joined UKIP when you were still involved in UKIP, whenever it was, 2018, 2019. Gave UKIP a bit of a shot in the arm. What did you do? You kicked us in the teeth, literally, calling us right-wing tattooed thugs because you didn't like Tommy Robinson. Then the Brexit party. What happened with that? Well, all of a sudden it, it imploded and you handed the keys to Downing Street to Boris Johnson, who you knew was a liberal and you knew would not get Brexit done in the way Brexit should have been done. Northern Ireland was left behind. So what could could we have possibly had a, a Brexit party um, majority? No, you would just handed the keys to Corbyn. But this time. You have handed the keys to someone who I think is far more dangerous than Jeremy Corbyn, who actually incidentally got less votes than Jeremy Corbyn. If you had have even done a deal with the Tories that says, we'll stand in this seat, you stand in that seat, or even done some sort of a deal with right-wing Tories. But no, you had to get your little ego boost by destroying the Tory party. Guess what, Nigel? You've destroyed the country. Well done, son. Well done. Hope you're proud of yourself. And I hope, that at the next general election, that the, the electorate remember that you're a charlatan and remember what you've done. You've ruined the country, Nigel, by allowing these lunatics to get into power. I would much rather have had a hung parliament. I would much rather have had a very, very slim conservative majority, which probably would have happened. I don't believe those millions of people that voted for you would have not voted. They would have voted Tory holding their nose and then they would have tried to hold the Tories to account. I despise the Tory party. But I tell you what, I'd rather have them than have this lot that are literally putting people behind the door for tweeting. Nigel, these prison sentences for social media posts are on you. Now, if someone riots and burns and, and, and wrecks all around them, they deserve to go to prison. But people shouting at the police don't deserve to go to prison for 26 months. People tweeting don't deserve to go to prison for 26 months. And Nigel, this is on you. The persecution of Tommy Robinson is on you. And then you threw Tommy under the bus. Because your knees went a bit wobbly because you thought you were in the frame. It's a disgrace. 
And I, I've just rejoined UKIP. Just last week, I've rejoined UKIP. Because we've got to, what we've got to do as a movement, reforms, reform's a joke party. It's a, it's a Farage vanity project. And to me, Farage is finished. This is finished, Farage. Because people will remember that it was you that gave the keys to 10 Downing Street. And yes, have I got some blame because I encouraged some of my viewers to vote reform? I tried to explain tactical voting. But Nigel, you should have been the one that took the initiative and had a voter plan of how you could have actually got some serious number of seats and help protect a certain amount of Tory opposition. But no, you thought it was a good idea to destroy the Tory party. Well, you've got what you wanted and you've destroyed the country in the process. Hope you're enjoying it, Nige.